Hi, this is Mike DiStefano with Corn Ferry's briefings for the boardroom. Today, talking with Lieutenant General Retired Rhett Hernandez on the topic of cybersecurity and cyber preparedness. General, can you just talk a little bit about how you think about cybersecurity and where it's come from and kind of where the world currently stands in terms of threats uh, right now? So from a, where, where I think we are, with respect to cybersecurity or really national security. In terms of a country preparedness, we've come a long way. But the challenge really is we've got even a longer way to go. I mean, this is an enduring problem. It's not going away. And many people often say to me, why don't we just go back to where we were? And the answer is you can't go back. Hmm. Uh, with the convergence of the physical and virtual space and a part of everything we do in life. They're so intertwined, one impacts the other, that we can't avoid the issue. I think, though, that it's also more complex than anything we've seen before. You know, we built this Internet for free and open sharing of information, but we built everything around that assumption, not really trying to secure it, much less not trying to figure out how we secure it in a global environment. The complexity is more than anything we've seen. The second, because it's such an asymmetric threat, in my view, and the threats are growing so fast, whether they are sophisticated or, in many cases, don't have to be that sophisticated if we're not very good, there's a sense of urgency that we've not had before. My number one concern or risk is national economic security is critical infrastructure protection. And we saw that in the banking sector a couple of years ago. We're starting to see it in the energy sector now. You recognize very well that, that if you take the power away, you lose a lot of other functions. We don't have to destroy the power, but we just cause enough disruption to cause people to, to recognize that electricity, water, medical and emergency supplies, ability to communicate, you know, all those things get degraded without a national loss of power, but you've got enough to tell the fabric of, of our nation that we can no longer provide the security that we all expect. I think that's our biggest challenge right now is critical infrastructure. The only other one I'd highlight that I think is more unknowns than knowns is a continued as I look at it, a continued growth of not network security, because we talk about networks all the time, but really system and platform security. A huge area, and particularly as we bring on the Internet of Things that will continue to grow, you know, it includes every system, whether you talk about aircraft, whether you talk about ships, whether you talk about any type of transportation. Now, from a military standpoint, it's, it's every platform, weapon system that we have that potentially over time or maybe even today some unknowns that have vulnerabilities that others may be able to get after that impacts our ability to operate and certainly has national security impacts with it.